Watch you guys wanted to make a quick video on free signs your hard drive is failing so this is what we're going to be taking a look at in this video so first thing to look out for is your computer is slowing up or you may have frequent freezes on your computer or you may be getting some sort of blue screen of death at random intervals when you're uh, doing something on your computer something like this and this is a common sign that you've got problems with your computer. You need to determine whether this is a software or hardware issue. Another thing to look out for is strange sounds coming from your hard drive. Grinding, clicking, beeping, buzzing or whistling. These are a sign your drive is failing. You can also do scans on your hard drive with software like HD Tune. And you can do a scan on this. A little quick uh, surface scan here of the drive. If you start seeing red little squares coming up on the drive it normally means your drive is starting to fail and you've got bad sectors there's no good trying to repair these just replace the drive and back up your data that is the best way of going about fixing and resolving this problem now whether you've got a hard drive or an ssd you can use software like crystal disk info this will give you some information on the smart readings of that drive and tell you whether the drive is failing or not it can tell you the power on count the power on hours and also it tell you whether the drive is in good health. If you start having issues with your drive, this is the first indication that your drive is failing and it's time to start thinking about making a backup of your data and then doing some other further investigations on that drive. Also, you can use the software that comes with the drive on the manufacturer's website like Kingston, Samsung. They all have their own software and you can use this to keep tabs on whether the drive's in good working health. Also, a lot of this software will give you terabytes written, how much life is left in the drive and all that sort of good information that's useful, especially if the drive is getting on in years and you've now used it quite heavily. Remember, not all drives are equal. Some are meant for hardcore use and some are meant for light use. So make sure you're buying the right type of drive uh, for the particular type of work that you're doing on your computer. So another thing is corrupted data and accumulating bad sectors. These will be scrambled file names and folder names, random error messages when opening or moving or saving files, files that fail to open, corrupted data within the files and disappearing files and folders on your computer. These are all signs that your drive is starting to fail and you need to test that drive to make sure it's still in good working order. It's time to back up your data. Always back up data before you do any sort of stringent testing on that drive because this is the critical time to get the data off before the drive starts to fail. I've seen drives fail at any sort of time, so it's always good to get a good backup of that. Now, Windows does have a built-in backup software, which you can use. It's free to use here. And just make a quick system image of your data, or you can just back up certain other files and folders depending on what your needs are for your data. There is also much more advanced software out there which is free to use like Macrum Reflect. This is much more control over your backups. You can choose what you want to back up like folders and drives and other stuff like that depending on what you want to do. You can back it up onto another external hard drive or onto DVDs if you're into that sort of thing or onto a network location, maybe a NAS drive or something like that if you have one of those available. If not, you're going to need another hard drive to back up that data too and this could be a pretty uh, sizable amount of data depending on how much data you need to back up on your computer remember windows is not really that important it's mainly all your data that's really important so always concentrate on backing up your data first and don't worry about all of the windows files and stuff like that so just really concentrate on all your data like holiday photos videos and things like that okay Let's move on to another piece of software which you can use, which is Fab's Auto Backup. A lot of technicians use this. It's great for backing up user profiles. This will be all your favorites, all your emails, all your videos, music, and uh, videos, pictures, and all that sort of stuff that's stored on your user profile account. So it's very good for that. You can also back up multiple accounts as well, not just one at a time. So if you're just interested in main data that is stored in this sort of location on your computer, then that sort of software is really useful. It's not a free piece of software, but it is pretty affordable and it is pretty decent. But Macrum Reflect will do the same sort of thing and it's completely free. So choose which method suits you. Now, another thing to take a look at here is you can get the smart reading from inside a command prompt here. Just type in this command and push enter and this will tell you the status of your drive, whether it's in good working health. And you can see here all the drives come up healthy on my test here it's only a basic test 
but it's a, just another way of doing things and i thought i'd add that bit into this video so let's move on to the next segment of the video which is seagate now seagate has a bunch of tools which you can use to test your ssds and your um your hard drives mechanical drives so you can go over to their uh, website here and you can see here they've got an array of different types of tools you've got seagate a uh, bootable uh, toolkit here which is basically to create a bootable uh, toolkit so you can boot to it if your pc is non-bootable and you want to test that hard drive you've got ssd software here which is a gui based software and you've got the seagate for windows which is going to be for your mechanical drives and things like that this will allow you to check the health on your drive as well if your ssd or something like that didn't come with some sort of free software and you wanted to use something like this you can do also it's great for testing mechanical drives you can do a quick surface test or you can do a long extensive test i would advise you to back up your data before running any sort of tests like these because this will put wear and tear reads and writes onto the drive and you really don't want to do that when your data is on that drive you want to get your data off first and then start worrying about testing your drive whether it's in good working condition this is the sort of software here just put the tick inside which one you want to run a check on you can see it's got a bunch of different tools up the top here uh, which you can select and i'll show you these right now so let me just quickly put a check check mark into this drive here and see the check the smart also do a quick self test here and you can do a short one or a long one a uh, long one's going to give a real good sector by sector uh, scan of the drive it does take a long time but if you've got a drive and you've got your data off and you want to test it to see whether it's uh, worth salvaging or not then you can do a good scan with this sort of software really useful to have especially for mechanical drives but they have started to do ssd stuff so what about if you've lost your data well if you've lost your data you can use data recovery software the best data recovery software out there as far as i know is get data back i've been using it for many many years and it's always uh, got data back for me now you obviously you would need a working drive for this software to work if it doesn't work and your drive is failed then you will need to use a data recovery company which will use uh, hardware based data recovery techniques to recover that data for you so if you think your hard drive is failing what shall you do first back up your data then replace the drive then safely dispose of the old hard drive and i've made loads of videos on how to do that but it's a common thing i see quite a lot of people doing which is basically just throwing the drive into the recycle bin you don't want to do that you want to completely safely dispose of that drive because it stores digital data which can be recovered by criminals i just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support have a lovely weekend. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.